Okay. Well, uh, the kingdom of God, um, I have come to learn and from the revelation that the Lord has, has given me about what the kingdom of God is. Uh, first of all, I believe kingdom of God is a place. Kingdom of heaven is a system. Um, and kingdom in and of itself, if you break the word down, it's comprised of, of two different words, king and dominion or domain. So you can't be a king without territory, basically. Um, in Genesis 1 and 26, God said, um, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over all the earth. Uh, now in uh, the, the book of Psalms, uh, I believe it's 115, 16, the Bible says uh, the heavens, even the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. Um, we have to understand that God gave the earth realm to us, those of us who live here. And I believe that he intended for us to rule earth like he rules heaven. And so when you talk about taking dominion in the earth realm, the missing component that I've not really heard anybody preach, teach, talk about, what have you, is what is the standard? What is the system that we're supposed to utilize? Because the Bible does say uh, that the kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, okay? I've heard people preach that for years, but I've come to learn and understand that the kingdom of God is a system. It is a methodology. It is a way of doing things. It is God's kingdom government in motion, in action, in and through us in the earth realm. And I believe this is the standard that we are supposed to utilize to take dominion in the earth. And when you look at it from the standpoint of utilizing that standard in our lives, so that means that to the point or up to the point that you were introduced to kingdom, every last one of us on this planet developed our own systematic methodology and way of doing things, handling things. Uh, handling relationships, how we handle finances, just everything that pertains to our life and living in the earth realm. Each and every one of us developed our own standard of how that's done, which is why we see in the earth realm, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the different countries that exist that all have all of these different governments. There's no two governments on the face of this planet that I know of that are exactly the same. They may have similarities, but none of them are the, the same unless you're talking about uh, a country that has dominion in another territory, another part of the earth. But in any case, uh, as it relates to what kingdom is, I believe that's what kingdom is. I don't believe that it is religion, denomination, tradition. Jesus said your traditions have made the word of God to no effect or no avail. And so I grew up Catholic. <laughs> Most yeah. people might find that hard to believe, but I grew up <laughs> Catholic, so I know what the Catholic church is like. I've gone through some of the sacraments and the whole nine, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, I, I recognized a lot of things uh, in my youth becoming a believer. And I feel like the veil or a veil was pulled off of my eyes and so i was able to see things i didn't realize i was looking at things from a kingdom perspective back then but i was because god was like pointing different things out to, and i started asking my mom well like why do we have to do this and why do we have to do this and it was happening at such an alarming rate she was like look i don't know i don't understand just just do it you know mm -hmm. right so um i don't believe that it's uh um a lot of things uh that we have deemed kingdom to be. I, and I also believe that we have to get our definition of what kingdom is from him or a noted authority that bears witness with our spirit. And we know that this is kingdom that God is sharing with, with us because the Bible says spirit bears witness with spirit. And so if you are endeavoring to be in tune with Holy Spirit, when you hear somebody else speak about kingdom or speak the words of God or the word of God, not just what we look at as the Bible or written content that we refer to on a daily basis, but the proceeding word that flows forth out of his mouth that pertains to our daily lives. When you hear someone speaking that, then your spirit should be able to bear witness with that 
with you having Holy Spirit on the inside of you, guiding you. Okay.